Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So the first thing I want to say today is a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to me because I recently got to 10k subscribers. So to just say like a thank you, I kind of want to do a Q&A video. So straight after I post this video, I'm going to post a little clip that says ask me anything. So underneath that video, if you just want to like post any questions you have about me, about my YouTube in the comments section, just anything you want really then please do that. But yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a video called Al Bundy's shoe, shoe store insults or something like that. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Remember me Bundy? No. <laughs> the one you insulted? I'm sorry ma'am, you have to be a little more specific. <laughs> You made fun of my weight. You called me a giant seal. Well, let's see, I had four elephants. I had a <laughs> rhino who wanted some flip-flops, had a manatee. <laughs> see, if there's anything that Al Bundy is equal with, it's the dishing out of his insults, so yeah. <laughs> rhino who wanted some flip-flops, had a manatee. <laughs> nah, nah, don't remember any seals. <laughs> Can you jog my memory? You know what jog is. That's what you do when the ice cream truck is pulling out. <laughs> With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. <laughs> Uh, try the moon, you're way less there. <laughs> now I demand equal time. Speaking of equal, you really ought to try something. <laughs> I've only won them once, and they split at the sides. <laughs> well, let me explain. See, it's, it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this ship. Where do you think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> Do you know what, right? I've got to say it. The writers of this show are like, just Al Bundy, right? When it comes to fat jokes or fat insults, they have got to take like the winner's trophy for that. They're just so like funny and creative. And I just, yeah, it's just great. I've just got to say that. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> Okay, Enid, work with me here. Pull in, pull in your talons. We're almost there. See, I told you I was a four. No, ma'am. Four is what you'll have to yell when the shoe pops off your foot. Wow. Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. I've seen that. We're leaving. I want a blue. You've already got one. <laughs> Give me the shoe. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them to you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in your... <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? Do you want us to gag you? You're already doing that, but I would like to be blindfolded. <laughs> you can't compete with my charm. I'm a natural-born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, you... do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> on a limb here. You've never been employee of the month, have you? That's right. But if I were you, I wouldn't be going out on any limbs. <laughs> we are trying to teach this man that his behavior towards us is unacceptable. But a better use of time would be to teach each other the words, no thank you, I'm full. <laughs> what size am I? Well, I'm no expert, but from where I sit, I'd say, too big for shoes. <laughs> I'm sure I like this shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. 
We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. I want my money back. These shoes fell apart after one day and I want to know why. Well, you see, ma'am, this is a pliant heel with a cork filling. Whereas you are a giant seal with a pork filling. <laughs> Do you know what, right? The thing with that is, I feel like this show has definitely, or Al Bundy, when it comes to shopkeepers who like come in with an attitude, let's say like, I don't know, like a Karen, basically, they have got the best insults to just throw at people who act like Karens or come into the shop with like a bit of attitude. Do you know what, like, they really have like a handbook or like, you know, just a book of goodies when it comes to like dealing with people like that with those attitudes. Like, I'm just gonna steal some of those. So whenever I'm out, or I do something and someone like tries to be rude to me for no reason, I'll just throw them those insults and you know, they would have no idea what to respond to me, probably not anyway, so yeah. But yeah, it's like an insult handbook for cat on dealing with Karens or just people with attitudes, <laughs> yeah. Filling. Whereas you are a giant seal with a pork filling. <laughs> These shoes make me look fat. <laughs> be honest. <laughs> no, they make you look very... Fat. <laughs> Just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know medium, the size between small and you. <laughs> I really thought this mule would look better in white. I bet that's what her husband said on her wedding day. <laughs> Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. They don't fit. And your ad said we fit every foot. Yes, ma'am, but our problem is what we're dealing with is not what Webster meant by feet. Now, <laughs> let's face it, girls, what we've got here are rib roasts with nails. <laughs> now, what I would suggest is surrounding your tootsies with those little brown potatoes wrapped in foil and served with dry wine. I have tiny toes, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, yes, indeed. We're sausages. 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 For every insult, you lose a free meal. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it. Haven't you ever had something just slip right out of your mouth? I suppose not. I'm not leaving here until you help me. Well, I don't know what I could do that God and Deal Emil couldn't, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Did I tell you how pretty you look today? <laughs> no. Good, then the blood is still reaching my brain. <laughs> because it's against my belief to upset the balance of nature in any way. That's why I haven't washed my feet since I converted. <laughs> I haven't offended you. Well, you've got to have lunch before you lose it. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this. What goes around comes around. Well, considering your orbit, looks like I have about ten more years. <laughs> I just don't see anything I like. You ought to be sitting on this stool. <laughs> you will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> These shoes are too big. I'm swimming in them. Well, that would explain the life preserver under your dress. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? <laughs> Do you know what I think this show is like showing to me? I feel like for any people who have worked in a shop out there, you know, and has a customer just come in and be rude for no reason. Because like in real life, you know, I, I see a lot of people just being unnecessarily rude to shopkeepers and like this show is kind of showing what in their heads they actually really want to respond to with like to the to the like the customers basically you know what i mean i really i don't even know what i mean to, i'm trying to like get my sentence out and it's not really coming out but yeah like 
Yeah, that's what I was showing. Like, I bet, you know, any shopkeeper out there who watches this show gets, a, like, just a bunch of satisfaction of being like, that's what I want to say to that shopkeeper, but I couldn't. Do you know what I mean? So if there's any shopkeepers out there who, like, have wanted to actually respond to a customer like that, you know, what Al Bundy is doing, then, you know, just watch this show. Because in real life, you know, shopkeepers have to be polite because of, like, you know, all of that and just don't, don't rise to it if a customer's being rude to you. But this is secretly, I bet, what every shopkeeper wants to do they want to do that they just want to be rude to the customer um, yeah just just do an Al Bundy they just want to pull an Al Bundy but yeah that's just what it made me think of making my business elsewhere may I suggest Jenny Craig <laughs> no. no look you don't seem to understand me I want something that goes with this dress a bubbling cauldron <laughs> Got a lot of nerve. I need it to get this close to your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it. I was a size six before aerobics class. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> and I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. <laughs> How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> So because you're mad at me, you're going to take it out on a perfectly innocent chair. <laughs> a chair that has suffered enough already. Oh, these feel great. Do they have a special gel lining? <laughs> yes, that's the blood spurting from my severed vegan. <laughs> well, these are perfect for my flamenco class. <laughs> Al Bundy, I find you guilty of excessive cruelty to large women. You should see what he's like with midgets. <laughs> the proper term is little people. Well, that's the proper term for anyone standing next to you. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's our dinner coupons, you fat cow. <laughs> We, we don't like to be called fat. Then stay home. <laughs> you go, girl. I'm not going to just disappear. You'll see me again. Wherever a fat woman shoves a smelly foot in front of some poor guy's face, I'll be there. <laughs> Wherever someone comes into the store and tries to exchange a pair of shoes he's been wearing for three months, I'll be there. And whenever kids come into the store, take off their old shoes and try to sneak out with new ones, I'll be there too. And madam, when Shamu needs a mate, you'll be there. So yeah, I think that's the end of that video. Al Bundy has sort of become like my favourite thing to react to at the moment because I just find like it's so funny and creative and the insults are good. But yeah, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Goodbye!